up everybody welcome back to another mullet man episode as you guys requested from the buffalo hunt he is back the what? man himself crispy <laughs> is out at the ranch out at the jag mince and uh it is pretty cold today it's like 50 degrees actually it was 38 whenever we pulled in it's gonna get to 50 today but he brought his bow and uh we're gonna do a little hunting he's never shot a catalina ram is that right no, with a yeah, bow yeah, yeah. anyway yeah, was, so we got one not one at all uh, so we got a few giants out here and uh the way you find these catalinas is by smell because they stink so bad we're gonna see if we can't go find one and uh get crispy on one with his bow and then uh what do you think tamales but you kind of stink, so how is that? How are we oh, going to yeah? find them? I stink. <laughs> that was a good one. So we're uh, getting dressed right now, getting all the cameras ready, and uh, about to hop in the mule, go right around, look at the place, and then uh, see if we can't find a ram to shoot. So Crispy shows up in some thin pants and somehow found a hoodie in his truck. I did. <laughs> all he was wearing was this vest. I thought he was going to have to... I showed up in shorts. What are I you know. talking about? I thought he was going to have to fit into my uh, my large jacket. Yeah, but. okay. <laughs> I don't know, Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> these dudes all day long. I saw lung blood coming out. It looked like I was far back, but I saw lung yeah, blood. Yeah, <laughs> Look under that tree. Where? Right there. Oh, I'm blind. Oh. Got him, dude. Mm. What was that like? 50 yards maybe. yeah maybe dude i saw that footage of that shot and i did wasn't so sure but yeah me neither he started bleeding good there at the end and <laughs> like this thing's a giant dude yeah he is holy smokes Look at all that character on him, man. That's yeah, he's old. He's real old. They smell good, don't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> After, dude, I'm happy that that shot was. Yeah, it actually came out in the heart. Yeah. One, two. Okay, guys, all day long stalking. We got on them three times total today, but 
the third time was the charm because Crispy took a 40 yarder as you saw 43, and smoked yeah. him 43. <laughs> so if y'all want to see the shot on this big guy, uh, go check out Crispy's channel. He'll be linked in the description. That right there is a huge Catalina Ram. And uh, that's a pretty awesome bow kill. He's going on your wall, huh? For sure. Oh, yeah. So we're going to hang this guy up and uh, cape him out for the taxidermist. And then uh, I guess we're going to try him and uh, see what he tastes like. Crispy, yeah. Crispy's going to make me some... Uh, some backstrap? Some, some tacos. Some uh, tacos. Catalina wine mixer tacos. <laughs> Appetizer. Okay. Yeah. Catalina nachos. I like nachos. So, we're going to get him hung up real quick and uh, get the dirty work out of the way, and I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, we are back at the house. We got some little french fries going, and uh, we already have, so, as you saw, if you haven't saw, me and Crispy went on a buffalo hunt a, what, a month ago, probably? About, yeah. Maybe two months ago. And uh, we got some buffalo steaks on the grill and backstrap, but I wanted to do this separate so y'all know that I'm not eating buffalo and faking it as goat. So here it is. This is the piece of backstrap that we got off of that goat. Um, I know I didn't film the uh, cleaning portion because YouTube is just cracking down really hard right now. So uh, couldn't show that, but the backstrap doesn't look bad. It doesn't really have a bad smell to it. I can tell you right now that that goat is probably the worst smelling animal that you will ever have to clean. Um, but I just took the sinew off the back. What we're gonna do with this back shot, keep it simple. Um, take some Texana, extra virgin olive oil, and uh, just rub it down with some regular olive oil. And then we'll just put some Crater Glitter Red on there and uh, throw on the grill. See what she tastes like. So if y'all would like this for your stocking stuffers, make sure you order it this week. Um, after this week, I can't guarantee that I'll get to you before Christmas. So uh, if you're watching this video, go ahead and pause right now. Click the link in the description to mulletman.net. Some spice and then uh, come on back over and see what this stuff tastes like. I'm gonna take this out to the grill. Y'all know what this piece of meat looks like. I'm gonna keep it whole. And uh, when everything else is done, we'll pull this off and uh, give her the old taste test. All right, Crispy, get over here. <laughs> this is your animal. So, as you can see, this is all beautiful buffalo. Uh, we got buffalo steaks, and these are butterfly back straps. And this is the good old Catalina goat. Perfectly cooked, couldn't ask for it better. All right, two pieces. <laughs> you didn't think you were gonna be trying it, did you? I uh, mean, I was hoping you go first. All right, you gotta give a rating from one to ten. From one to ten? Three, two, one. All right. Oh wow, that's tough. It's tough. Oh wow. That is jerky. Bro, it's cooked medium rare. I just look, mm. Seriously, it came in chew that. It's gaming. Like, wow, it feels like an old piece of gum. I'm gonna be taking taking that out of my teeth for a few days. Mm -hmm. But I hate goat. I finally swallowed it. I hate the taste of goat, but that doesn't taste bad. Just the texture. It is. It's tough. It's not bad. For I'm gonna give it two ratings. On texture, I'm gonna give it a like a half of a point because it's awful. On taste, I'm gonna give it like a four point six. I was going to say 4.5. For the whole thing? Yeah. 4.5? Okay. Man, I got some of my teeth there. <laughs> so, that's that. Mm. Let's uh, let's let Mullet Senior try it, since he's behind the camera. Cut you off a little piece. See what you think. Need a hacksaw. Yeah. I'm going to mm. try this tender spot here. Tender? More, more, <laughs> There's more. nothing tender about this. Yeah. <laughs> Golly. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like a piece of raw hide in your mouth with a little bit of critter glitter red on there. <laughs> rating. You don't have to swallow yeah. it. Just give me a rating. Uh, toughness. 
or tenderness. It's too tough, so I give it a one. Flavor is not bad. Mm -mm. I mean, I'd give it a, I'll give it a five. So the rest of that is dog food. Um, and y'all are probably all wondering, why are you gonna waste this whole animal? Why'd you shoot it if you're not gonna eat it? We're not. We have a friend, uh, he comes and helps at the ranch, and uh, he takes every animal that we do not want and puts it in his freezer and uh, takes it back home with him when he goes home to visit family and they make all kinds of stuff out of it. They'll, they'll probably take this kind of meat right here and cook it for, I don't know, probably 10 hours until it just completely breaks down and then make it into stews or whatever they make with. He's coming to pick up that whole animal tomorrow, so nothing of that animal is going to waste. Crispy is going to be uh, mounting that animal, so the horns and the head are not going to waste. Uh, the skin's not going to waste and all the meat will be going to his family uh, back home. So, Crispy, thank you for coming out. Thanks for having and, uh, me. It was a fun hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a fun day of hunting. Uh, it was a long day and it was cold for sure, but uh, we're gonna be doing it again. So leave it in the comments if y'all wanna see more of Crispy and uh, be sure to go check his channel out. The link will be in the description. See you guys in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and eat good.